All right, yet another video today about NiceHash Miner, mainly the XM rig plugin I'm using. So with NiceHash Miner, if you do not know, you can go over to plugins. Right here is the NiceHash Miner app. Click on plugins. It tells you which plugin you're running. Here is XM rig source. It says 19.1 latest. I don't know why that is when it's running up here at 6.8.1 let me get my cursor here so i can point and you can see where i am pointing 6.8.1 right so but it says down here 191 i don't know what that number is that might be their own version internally because they do track them and they try to keep you know up to date on the plugins and that but apparently they just stopped at 6.8.1 and you can verify this it's a uh, supported device is CPU, random X Monero, and it is the mi minor binary versions, version 6.8.1. And down here is the minor source. It uh, goes XM rig, releases, downloads 6.8.1. Zip file. What are we going to do now? All right. We get some errors. We get that MSR mod error. So we're obviously running an older version, I think. We're going to verify that as well. I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to wing it and see if this works. So that's how you learn by screwing up. So this is one of my CPU mining rings on rig rings rigs on Windows 10. We are running right now. So what I want to do is go out and I'm just going to manually <clears throat> I'm going to manually download XM rig zip file and see if we can just install it over the uh let's see the 6.8.1 version. Yay, how do we do this? Well, let's go to a browser. Is this a browser? Yes, browser. Let's see if this works. I haven't done this in a long time. So let's try it together. And I did click on it. And I'm waiting for my Chrome to come up. Come on, big Chrome. There we go. Oh my God. No, I don't want to restore any pages. All right, why is it small like that? That's weird. Give me some real estate, big daddy. All right. Uh, I'm just going to go do this. XM. GitHub. XM rig download GitHub. This is how we do it. All right. Click on this. 6.21, baby. That's the latest. Woo. All right. Here we got releases. 6.21, that is higher than 6.1, 6.8.1, ah. Oh, download, here we go. Let's go into the binary releases. Click on that. 6.21, why is it slow? Right. Oh my God, which one do I want? Do, 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 do. Let's see, what did they have on this one? Uh, oh my God, 681 MSVC Win64. So Win64, Big Daddies. Let's do, oh, here we go. We got one Win64. What do you think? La, 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 Bionic. What's this? X6, XM rig Bionic. GCC Win64. I'm doing it. I'm going with the old Win64. This came out in Turkey Day. November 23rd. Ooh, did it download? Let's go see. Find your downloads here. Okay, click. Right here. There we go. It stuck it in. The let's see, where did it put it? It is I have no idea where it's stuck. It's not giving me the folder name. All right, close. Should have put it in the downloads folder. Yep, there it is. That's weird. They don't, I, I hate when Windows does that. Just give me the freaking path. Let's see if I click up here. 
Nope, it's not giving me the full power. I hate when I do that. Just tell me where the damn file is in. It's just like Linux. Tell me where it's at. All right, here it is, 164 downloaded today. I'm going to close this window. Don't want to get confusion. Uh, let's see. I'm, I think I'm done with this. I'm going to leave that running. I'll tell you why in a reason so we can find out in a minute so we can find out where the current XM rig is installed in the uh, nice hash minor plugin folder. Let's do this. Oh, we're back to the same screen. What is that? Close. I hate that. Right. Oh, this is the zip file. Where, that's the zip file. All right. I'm, I'm slow today. All right. This is a win. Oh, it's a win rar zip archive. Why? Right click. Extract files. All right, I'm just gonna put it in a folder. So I did right click, extract files. Let's see if this works. Uh, it's gonna stick it in downloads XM rig. All right, let's do it. Please work. Yay, look guys, it put it right there. Boom, XM rig 621. All right, let's keep that over here. We'll keep that in mind. Now let's go find out where this XM rig thing is running. Uh, let's go to task manager. Uh, ba, 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 XM rig minor. Expand it. 681. Right click. Right click on the top one. I did the top one here, the root. The tree, the branch root, the node root. Open file location. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> it's even in the minor plugins right here. And it says, that's weird. They have 19. That must be their version. Let's go to bins 19.1. Yeah, that must be their version. The nice has internal version 19.1. XM rig 681. What I'm going to do now is stop this. All right, we're going to stop that. I'm going to exit out of the nice hash miner. Just because. First, let's look at what they give us. 6.8.1. You got all the benchmark. Uh, anything magical in here? Eh, benchmark, benchmark. Win, I don't think there's anything special in here. So let's do this. Let's go back one. 19.1. I'm just going to rename this. And this is my old engineering days. <laughs> just to back, it's just to notice it was an old file. I just put a dash after it. Boom. So now what I'm going to do is go over to that folder I downloaded. This is xmrig-6.2.1. All right, let's just see. Bring it over. Yay. Okay, let's open that. Same stuff. And I want to go back one again. Oh my gosh. Window hard. Windows hard. 681. And I want to show you I did uh, properties, compatibility, and that was not. Oh, okay. You want to run it as admin. And this machine didn't have the current XM rig running as admin for some reason. That is odd. I wonder if it, up, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Sorry, let's see. I wonder if they updated over me and uh, unset that, that uh, property. Let's go in here. This is the new one. Right click. Properties. Compatibility. Run as admin. Apply. Okay. All right. That's the plugins. That's the XM rig. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to all find out together. Uh, I might have to keep the file name the same. So, what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to move this over to downloads. Whoops, not yet. Hold on, hold on. Don't want to screw this up. Let's go to downloads. Let's move this over and make sure we have a backup. All right, I backed that up. It's gone. Well, I'm just curious if this is going to start up. I may have to keep the same folder name. Who knows? All right, do this. Nice hash miners coming up. Get me some Java here. Cafe. Cafe. All right, here we go. We're just waiting. Oh, it loaded the plugin. Plugins, no errors. Maybe. Uh, I'm just curious. Plugins. I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. It says installed. Why can't I expand it now? Show internals. Oh, that's interesting. Why are there, is there another directory with the plugin internals? All right, let's go see what is happening here. Get some space. They renamed the folder. You see that? They renamed it to 6.8.1. I swear to God they did that. Because here's the one I backed up. Right there. And it's 4633. 4633. 50. Oh no, did it overwrite it? I'm curious. I'm just going to crank it. I think they overwrote it. This might not work. Now, what is this folder? That's a different folder. I'm going to have to go there in a sec. So it's MP. What's this MP XM rig DLL? Dashboard. Six eight one. All right, that didn't work. <clears throat> that did not work. All right, let's kill it. Of course, I whacked my downloads thing. Oh my god, this is how you do it. Did I really whack it? I did. Copy next time. Don't just move it. Look at that. We're learning together. Like the Mr. Rogers neighborhood. All right. right click, extract here. Oh, there it is. Close. So there's 621, right? What is this wind ring? There it is, sys. Minor plugins. All right, let's go back one second here. Hold on. Locate the minor folder you want that contains your minor. Open the bins folder. Yes, we have the bins folder opened. Right here, 19.1, XM rig, contains your miner inside it. Uh, the highest number folder name. Inside this folder, you will find your miner folder. Replace the old miner files with the new miner files. All right. I don't want to whack this. I'm going to, so here, here's how we're going to do this. Copy. Paste. And there's my, there's my copy. I'm not messing with that. Make sure you have good stuff in there. I'm just curious. Let's do, ah, I copied it. Let's go back one. 19.1, 6.8.1. This is the original, that nice hash downloaded. 
compatibility. Yeah, it was already set as admin. Okay. That was already set. So they have two different locations, probably where they installed the thing, and then probably where the actual nice hash miner references references it in the program full, uh, program files folder. I don't know. Windows has things split up, or I just don't get it. All right, we have XM rig 6.8.1. I have it backed up. Do we have uh, 621 over here? We got the SHA file, solo mine, that doesn't matter, start file. All right. I'm just going to do this blindly. All right, we can. I have it backed up, so let's just do this. And it's not running. Let's kill it. Copy. The heck is that? Copy. I'm just going to whack these because I do have them backed up. Nineteen point one six. That I'm gonna make sure I'm backed up. Yes, I got it backed up. All right, big. It's a it's a larger binary. Eight kilobytes versus. If I could click on the right thing. Uh, four. It's almost double the size. So, oh, this is not gonna work. All right, uh, XM rig six eight one. I'm gonna right click properties compatibility. Oh, it's already run as program. All right, good for you. No way this can work. Oops. Nice hash miner. Run. It is loading the plugins. So it doesn't really barf there. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's go to plugins. I'm curious. Show internals. Has the latest 1120. 23. All right, I don't know. I have no idea. Minor plugins. That's the see, that's the programs. That's the app data. All right, yeah, it sticks stuff in the app data. Eh, we'll see, man. I don't know. With Windows, it's like whack a mole. You just keep trying stuff and see what works. Oh my gosh! All right, let's do it. Nice hash minor dashboard. Let's see. Let's just run it. Yes. In the house, Big Daddy, 621.0, manual update. Let's see if it works. Oh, man, I got to do this for every rig now. Oh, man. All right. Now I know how to do it. I went to the wrong plugins folder initially. That was my mistake. What you want to do, go to the uh, nice hash miner. Yeah, it's... It's pulling from a different area because even if you go to task manager, right, XM minor, and you right click, you try open it first. You got to open it first. Yep. It always changes. Yeah, go to details, open file location. All right, that is correct. All right, that is good. XM rig. All right, that is good. So it does go to the correct minor plugin location. I think I clicked on the wrong one. So yeah, you want to get that folder right here. And then if I back up one, watch this. Boom, there's my copy I made. So that is the correct folder. You want to go in and you can do that as well here. Go to the nice hash minor plugins, find your XM rig, hit the three buttons, show internals. And, uh, oh, that's the different one. Oh.
you got to be that is on uh, app data programs nice hash minor minor plugins interesting and it shows you that code their hash code they're running with uh, i'm just trying to figure this out guys hold on minor plugins nice hash minor minor plugins bins 19.1 all right there it is okay that's correct because i'm in the bins folder that's correct so that does work <clears throat> that does work so that's how you want to do it go over here hit the three buttons show internals get you to the folder manually download the correct minor version you want to install drag the guts over I probably could have made this a new folder name or kept it the same. Let's go do that. I'm going to stop this just to make sure I didn't need to keep it consistent because uh, I really just dumped it into the current folder version. Navigate to the minor plugin folder. Locate the minor folder that contains your minor. Inside the minor folder, open bins folder, highest number folder name. Inside the, all right. I just dumped it in 681. I'm going to just, for grins, let's kill this. Pause. Close this one. Where's my downloads? <clears throat> downloads. Let's open a new folder. Oh boy, let's go to downloads. So I know it works this way. So let's go and uh, do my little hat my little stupid trick here well <laughs> oh my god rename and good and where is my downloads going over to the download 621 big daddies let's go over 621 oh i don't want to drag it let's copy this time learned my lesson last time control c control v open that up right click properties compatibility it's already set for some reason i must have set it <laughs> all right so what do we got Oh, I wanted to see if it would run with 621, unless there's some internal coding, internal, internal, turtle, internal coding that says go to 681. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's go to nice hash minor. Because it would just be nice to drag the folder over, but if I have to put it in the current version, that's fine too. You just got to know that. I just want to see how smart their application is. Yeah. It, ooh, what happened? Did it whack those folders? Oh, no. Go to plugins, XM rig, show internals. All right. Bins, 19.1. One. It whacked the other two folders, man. That is freaky so it went in and renamed the folders it's got the oh and i put the wrong crap in so don't do that whatever i did don't do it it looks like it reinstalled it was missing and it must have pulled the old stuff out because it couldn't find the 681 directory and it reinstalled the plugin so what i'm going to do now you see what happened <clears throat> it probably detected oh wait there's no 681 in the plugins and then it went oh crap let's redo it and it put out the old stuff again you can tell by the binary size wow okie dokie uh i'm gonna let's see are we running no let's exit oh my god all right so i have that so proof being watch this 19 one i'm gonna do a copy paste copy paste there it made copy but I have 681 here yet. So you need that folder apparently. So I'm going to go to my uh my guy right here, my new one. Control A copy. I'm going to whack these. 
We are gonna paste. Boom. See the new binary, 8,000 kilobytes. Right click. Property, compatibility, run as admin is checked. Check, 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 check. All right, let's just go to 19.1. I'm gonna close some window. I am just gonna close some of these little windows. Just so I don't give myself confusion. Oh my God. Again, I'm doing this remotely, so it's a little slow. Ah, uh, we got task manager. All right, gotcha. Let's leave that up. Do it again. Starting up, loading minor plugins. Yeah, they got some internal logic there where they know which plugin they have. And then if it's not there, it will install it for you because that's what you selected. All right, plugins, XM rig, go internals. Uh, bins 19.1. Let's see. Oh my god, yes. See, again, it, it kept it because it saw that 681 existed, so it didn't go in and refresh that whole or reload that whole plugins directory. Boom, and it's got the latest XM rig because it's 8,000 kilobytes. That's the new one. And look at the date 11.23. That's what the date is of the download of the last version I grabbed. All right, we're looking good. Let's go to nice hash and call this a day, hopefully. I wonder if I have to benchmark. Let's do that. First, let's see if it runs. Run. Once it runs, I'm going to re-benchmark. Look, the MSR mod is gone. Boy, that explains a lot. You would think that it would just keep update to the latest, but at some point, they just probably don't keep the maintenance level high on this, and they just say, ah, this is the latest known runnable uh, plugin, so let's just go with that. It'd be interesting to see if the hash rate gets better. Because that's a big jump. 6.8.1 to 6.21. That's a lot of different little uh, releases out there. So we'll see if that makes, an, uh, makes, a, uh, makes a huge uh, impact. So I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go to benchmark. And we got this. I want to expand it. X, random X Monero. Clear all speeds. Yes. And let's do a start. I'm gonna, I don't care about this. I don't know why I have excavator. Let's go with XM rig. Let's do a benchmark, see if this works using the new XM rig. Uh, I don't know how long this takes, but we'll watch it together. This is how we learn. Again, you guys probably, I did, this is fresh out of the box, me doing this. So that's why I kind of don't know why I got off the wrong initial directory, but yeah, the, I showed you the path. Go into plugins. Go to the ellipsis. Do the internals. Gives you the folder. Go into the bins. And you have to keep the existing highest version there. And just replace the guts of it, the contents. And you're good to go. Oh, there we go. That was a quick benchmark. Boom. And it comes up. X, XSR mod error solved. Oh, my God. It's just almost hiding in plain sight sometimes. But you're counting on the software to keep the latest version, but it's their, ver their concept of latest release is different than yours. Uh, they, they're going with the known, um, what is it, the latest known stable one they've used, and they're not really looking out at the GitHubs to keep their miners up to date. That would be a huge maintenance uh, task right there. So there we go. Let's see what kind of mining we get out of this guy. Oh, dashboard. All right, let's see, that's better. I mean, it's running. And now I don't have to worry about the MSR mod thing. And what a pain in the butt that was. So there is your secret sauce. You gotta update the miner. It could be any other miner as well. That you know, you got the other ones out there. I am using XM rig, but you gotta get the latest from GitHub, make sure it's the right site, the official uh, XM rig site, download it. Find out where the NiceHash Miner plugin lives via their, their app, because uh, it's a pain to find this crap. You saw where it's at. It's in a Miner plugins, funky hash directory. Look at that, programs, NiceHash Miner. It's in the uh, local app data folder, right? I'm just curious, let's go. 
Yeah, app data, nice hash miner, miner plugins, blah, blah, blah. And this funky number they put on it. And I bet there is a config file out there, a comp file you could change, which specifies, yeah, specifies the actual location of the XM rig uh, file location, right? All right, let's let this run for a minute. Done with you. Boom. All right, it's running. I'm seeing no errors, no warnings, no complaining. It's almost like the perfect wife. Yep, all right, I think we're good, guys. So there, if you wanna upgrade your XM rig and you were thinking the app is gonna do it for you, nah, you gotta do it manually. You gotta go and get the latest copy, the newest into the existing so-called latest release they think it is, replace the contents, set the uh, compatibility, the run as administrator checkbox, and then you are good to go. And now you're running with the latest and it'll solve the XSR mod area as well as running the latest software, which again, I, like I said, going from 6.8.1 up to 6.21, that's a huge release gap. So yeah, why not have the latest? And uh, hope it runs better. All right, that's all I got. I hope this helped. I just walked through because I've never done this before. So I'm no genius. I went to public school and uh, we did it together. Yay! Everyone gets a star for attendance. But uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. That's all I got. Go forth. Uh, do great things. If you have the same problem, thank you. Whoever, uh, oh, one of the guys did post the latest version was six something. And I, that made me thinking, oh, well, let me go see if I can manually update. I mean, automatically update through NiceHash. It did not work. It uh, kept it at 681. And then I just looked up, well, how do you do a manual? And boom, a little page uh, popped up and just said replace the contents of the existing plugin folder and you should be good to go. So anyway, thanks. I, that's what I said over and over about doing the videos. This channel is not monetized. I'll never monetize this crap. Uh, but I like that I get feedback from the community and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for to learn. Uh, I don't know half this crap. I just go through it with a sledgehammer sometimes. As you saw me fumble through this, but you got it working, right? And it probably what took half an hour if that. Uh, yeah, that's why I like keep posting, pe pe yeah, blah, 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 English hard. Keep posting comments, suggestions, and uh, yeah, everyone will learn from uh, these videos, even me. <laughs> All right, on that note, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Boom.